Well, good morning again from Barcelona. It's our last full day here in Barcelona and we had a little change of plans. Originally, we had thought we were gonna go to Montserrat and then the effects of walking and walking and walking all through this great city has taken its toll on us and we decided we were, there was no way in hell we were getting up at 5 a.m. to catch the 7 a.m. train to get all the way up to Montserrat and then we're, there was also no way in hell we were climbing the mountain and walking around there. So we've decided to come back to the Gothic Quarter because we didn't feel we really got to absorb the Gothic Quarter as much as we would like to. We spent a good part of yesterday wandering around in Elborne looking for certain things that actually ended up being in the Gothic Quarter. And so we were exhausted and kind of gave up and went home. Um, we did see some things. I got to see the cathedral. So here's a little tip right behind me here. You can see um, we're like in the cathedral square and right over um, there is the cathedral right behind me here. So if you look back here though, that big crowd of people, that is the line to get in the cathedral this morning. It's about 11 a.m., maybe 11.30, and the line for the cathedral is crazy. It's because all of the tour groups bring their tours here midday like this in the morning. So it is the worst time to come to the cathedral. We came yesterday evening. It is seven euros to enter, and then you get to go up on top, which is cool. Um, but there is quite a bit of a line um, to get into that elevator that takes you to the top. So I can imagine the line out here is so crazy. I can't even imagine what it's like inside for that elevator to go up. You're talking probably hours of time spent here, whereas if you come in the evening, we came about six o'clock last night, which is about an hour before closing. And I, we didn't wait at all to get into the cathedral. And then once the elevator, that was a little bit of line, probably about a 20 minute line uh, to get up to the top. But that was way well worth it because you're able to wander around and get pictures without waiting in this ridiculous line. We're gonna take you through the Gothic Quarter today. I'll keep you updated with all the progress that we were making and I'll catch up with you later on today. Plaza del Rey is well known for its connection to Christopher Columbus. It is here on these steps where King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella greeted Christopher Columbus back from his journey to the Americas. So we finally stumbled upon Plaza Saint Philippe de Neri. interesting about this is during the Spanish Civil War a bomb was dropped right over here all of this damage on this wall is shrapnel from that bomb drop as a reminder of how horrible the Civil War was for the Spanish people they decided not to repair it instead of fixing it and making it something that it wasn't. So the bad thing is that children play in this. There's a school right over there. It's a escuela over there in the corner. This is their playground. So the day that that bomb was dropped, the children too were killed. Sad part of Spanish history. All right, welcome guys. We're back on Las Aramblas, the famous Las Aramblas. And right behind me here is this fountain. This fountain, it said, if you drink out of this fountain, that it is good luck. It means that you will return to Barcelona for another fabulous trip. So I'm gonna go do that now because I love Barcelona and I wanna go have a fabulous trip. It's my first attempt at Patatas Bravas. 
Of course, I have a lovely vermouth here. So I'm about to dive into this and see how these taste. They look delicious. Alright everybody, here we are last night in Barcelona. Uh, we spent the whole day wandering around the Gothic Quarter. We went to revisit a lot of the places that we've been to um, and I bought myself a pair of really cool shoes from Handmade Barcelona. Very cool. They're a pair of espadrilles. I'll show them to you later. Um, but they're they're really cute. They have they actually say Barcelona on them I'm usually not a huge like touristy type of person when it comes to souvenirs um, But I wanted something that I could wear and I just really like the design of them They're so different than anything I have. They were super comfortable I tried them on when probably the best time to try on shoes when my feet are super tired and <laughs> Swollen so I tried them on they fit great. They were comfortable. I can't wait to get home and wear them because um, I'm not going to spoil them while I'm here in Spain. I'll wait till I get home to wear them. They're so adorable. Um, but anyway, so, so we have like an hour until our train back to Salau. And then we will be there. We have to pack up everything because we have to check out of our Airbnb tomorrow already. I can't believe that we are, our whole week in Barcelona is done. Um, you know, the only two things we didn't do was the bunkers and Montserrat we covered everything else and boy my legs my feet my back heck my whole body is feeling it um but we loved every minute of it we definitely ate our way through um we enjoyed so many different types of food and sweets and everything barcelona definitely is a contender when it comes to top food cities in the world um now I'm just excited to get back to Madrid, finish exploring that great city before we have to wrap it all up and go home. Everything goes so fast. It feels like we've been here for a month because we've done so many things, but we literally have been here for, you know, 10 days. So, but anyway, we've had a great time. Never really felt unsafe in Barcelona um, the entire time. And, you know, while we had our kind of spidey senses up just to keep an eye for things, um, you know, we never really felt fully unsafe. There was two times that we felt maybe we were being approached by pickpocketers, um, but because we were aware of our surroundings, aware of who was near us and their behavior, um, they backed off pretty quickly um, and moved on to somebody else who was an easier target. So um, we really had a great time, but um, I'll go over what I thought of everything in a recap video coming up, but uh, stay tuned for some more fun stuff. Uh, in Madrid and I'll document our train ride tomorrow but yeah this is it end of end of Barcelona cannot believe it loved every minute talk to you tomorrow if you like this video smash that thumbs up consider subscribing for more content just like this stay tuned for more from Madrid mm -hmm.